We are Joe White and Jen Ward. And this is the tale of Falk Fitzwarren III. After the death of the legendary King Arthur, his wise wizard Merlin made a prophecy. There will come from across the white plain a grey wolf. He shall have six teeth above and six teeth below. He shall defeat the boar and tame the leopard. And this prophecy created much hope for the people of the land. But nobody really understood it, not until the time of King John. Our story begins when John was just a prince, and it was customary back in those days for princes to have companions. And John's companion was one Falk Fitzwarren III. John and Falk were educated at Windsor Castle, and although they were companions, they were never friends. And during their early teens, they began to be educated in the strategies of warfare through the medium of playing chess. On one occasion, John and Falk were playing chess, and John cheated. And Falk protested against this most strongly and accused John of cheating. And then John threw the board into Falk's face, and in retaliation, Falk launched a drop kick at the prince and he fell back against the wall and sprawled there. At the sight of John sprawled on the floor, Falk ran from the room in fear. You shall never return here again! When John's brother, Richard the Lionheart, became king, he made Falk Lord of the Marches. And also later that year, when Falk's father, sadly passed away. He was also made Lord of Whittington Castle. And in 1199, when John ascended to the throne and became king, his first edict, his first royal decision, was to banish a folk from Whittington Castle and replace him with Maurice from Hawkston. Folk and his brothers Alan, Will, Philip, and little John became outlaws and hid out in Windsor Forest. And they went to Windsor Forest to steal from the merchants who were delivering to King John's palace. And they stole from the rich to give to the poor. And one time they even caught John himself whilst he was out riding and released him only on John's promise that Falk would be given back Whittington Castle. A promise he failed to keep. And on that broken promise, Falk and his brothers stretched further out across the land, pillaging the rich to give to the poor. And everywhere they went, they were joined by more and more men. And with such a large band, they marched back to Whittington Castle to oust Maurice. And Maurice saw this large gang of people coming and he knew he was defeated and so he fled to Hawkston, leaving Falk to reclaim his castle. King John was furious and he called upon Ranulph of Chester to throw Fitzwarren out. But Ranulph defiantly told John, no. But that's not the end of the story. The barons were unhappy with King John, and by 1215 they got John to put his royal seal on the Magna Carta, taking away some of John's powers. There will come from across the white plain a grey wolf. This area of North Shropshire is known as the White Plain. And Falk Fitzwarren III's nickname was the Grey Wolf. He shall have six teeth above and six teeth below. The crest of the Fitzwarreens has on it six teeth above and six teeth teeth below. 
he shall defeat the boar. Maurice of Hawkstone's emblem is the boar, and by driving him out of Whittington Castle, Folk Fitzmaurice defeated the boar. And he shall tame the leopard. And John's royal seal is the leopard, and with it being put on the Magna Carta, his powers and King John were tamed, ensuring Folk Fitzwarene tamed the leopard and brought the prophecy of Merlin true. <laughs>